Okay, so here we are on uh, Tuesday, 26th of January, class number 14 for packet four. And um, okay, so back to this problem, this practice problem number one is okay. I mean, conceptually, it's a good, I, I, I come up with this a couple of years ago. I thought that's you know, pretty clever, I thought. But then looking at the, um, looking at the video, late last night, I said, Oh, no, no, there is some issues here. So I redid the video. Uh, so there's a new one up. I think it's a sodom help video. So it's like less than a minute. So it's quick. But it just the problem is just too, there's too much. So I like the idea It's a good shot. Let's just, but let's just um, exit out, go ahead and keep it keep you, you'll get your credit for the effort you put in but it will not be on the test, okay? It's just to, it was a great idea, but I still got, I got to work on it some more, okay? And the other announcement is that uh, we have a Ask Me Tutoring, uh, that's my company I have um, that we're building. It's a nonprofit thing, but we have, we're doing an ACT prep. Um, and uh, if you don't put your phone up to the screen, I have a, this is a flyer I'm gonna put around tomorrow. That's just a few flyers around school. Um, and so if you put your phone up to it, take, you know, put your camera over that QR code, you'll get, it'll take you to the website. If you're interested, if you're a junior, if you're a sophomore or senior and you still wanna do it, we're not gonna stop you. Um, but um, take a look at that. And that's coming up next week. And that's the last one we'll do until fall. We'll do some SAT stuff, but that's the last ACT one we'll do this spring. And I'll, I'll put it in the uh, screenshot. So if you, I guess you just put your camera for that, it still works. Uh, in class, we did a, we did a dog check on um, the back of uh, four, six, and we don't really do dog checks here, but this is what is due. I gotta make that assignment. Hold on a second. Make a note, make assignment, make it a virtual assignment. So assignment. Uh, Brittany, you're kind of temporarily virtual. So you probably just go ahead and stay with the dog. When you get back, I'll give you your stamps. Uh, but if you're permanently virtual, then you want to turn this in and this will be due tomorrow night uh, at midnight. And it's good practice for the test anyway. It's like studying for the test because there will be one like this one. There will be one like this one on there for sure. That's already on there. I've already put it on the test. One like it. Okay. So, oh, and here's that one worked out. I mean, I realized that, hey, you, you, you got to turn it in. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the answers. I don't know what to do. I, I got it. They, they got to see the kids in class got to see the answers, right? I mean, they worked it out. They want to see if they're right. So we went over this in class today. So what can I do? I mean, I'm trying to keep you guys the same point wise. Oh, all right. So let me change that I'm sharing here. And this is an opportunity for you to, in your case, uh, you put it on Facebook group and I'll just give you Facebook points uh, for them. I told them I'd give them um, dogs, but it don't matter. I mean, there's so points of points. It doesn't matter how you get them. Let me show you this. Hold on a minute. Let me find it. Okay. So let me share the screen. Hold on. Okay. And share screen. And so this one is, find it, there we go. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm sharing the screen. This was a, this is Facebook from last year. Um, this is fall, uh, spring 2020. And so we were doing the old, um, the old, okay, so this is, a, this is a videotape you take of yourself at home. And you'll need a broom. An old fashioned broom is the best. You'll need a pie pan, 
a toilet paper roll, a glass of water, and a raw egg. It's like the old tablecloth trick. Newton's first law, body in motion stays in motion, body rest stays at rest. Okay, so I'll show you. This, this, this would get you 10 points, 10 Facebook points in your case. This is Xander from last year. Oh, okay, well, let me blow this up. So he used, uh, he, 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 he snapped that broom handle. And I'll try to get Okay, so let's do another one, let's do another one. Okay, that's him. Here is, here's Juliana. Yeah, this is Juliana doing it, doing the thing. Okay. Hey. All right, so uh, see right there, that's 10 points, five dogs. Um, if you dress it up a little bit, do slow-mo camera, put a little music behind it, you know, uh, and then make it a little more entertaining, then, then we're quite trying up to 20 points. So 10 points for the minimum, up to 20 points for a little extra sauce. And be creative, right? And then put that video on our Facebook group, and that's how you get the points. Don't email it to me. I don't want to have to put it on Facebook. You put it on Facebook, okay, on our Facebook group. So there's a chance for some extra points if you're so inclined. Now let's stop that sharing. And we'll go back to the screen here. And you have, as far as deadlines, you have until uh, packet four is complete. So you have until about mid-February, it looks like, to get that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we met at table four. On Tuesdays, I'm going to meet the students at table four. They got to stand. They got to sit on the table and face the crowd. We kind of move everybody away so they're not getting their breath from you know, COVID and all. But then I ask them a series of questions, just softball questions about themselves and and so what they want to do with their life and things like that. It's nice, nice for me. I get to know them, and they the rest of the class gets to know them. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we can institute something like that for us. Uh, I don't know, perhaps, but we're kind of low on time anyway. So here we go. That What that'll do on Tuesdays, that'll make our session a little shorter because we don't have that meet, you know, meet Rose, you know, meet Miranda. We could, but the thing is, the thing is, the reason why we can't do it actually is because this is public and I don't want any Yahoo watching YouTube and, you know, finding out where you want to go to college. Okay. So, so all that stuff from yesterday There's the homework. Okay. So today, this won't take us, I think we'll be done early today. We did this yesterday. This is number, uh, this is on four point. Uh, this is 4.7. Uh, and we did number one there. Uh, let's table number two for, we'll, we'll look at number two tomorrow. I want to go on to number, uh, I want to go on to four. That's what we're working on when the, uh, when we ran out of time yesterday. So we, all we're going to do today is do four, do all 10 steps, kind of slowly go through it methodically. And then um, I'll have you guys work number three while I'm there to help. And that's it. Now, oh, the homework will be, the homework really is number three and number five. Number three, you get one dog or two points for you guys. Number five, you get two dogs or four points for you guys. Uh, and that'll come if we end up turning this one in next week. Okay. So I'm getting my calculator out. So get a calculator. You'll need that. You don't need a straight edge or a ruler or, this, or a protractor this time. Okay. So this is number four. We've, we've got we've got steps one and two. We we sketched the vectors yesterday. We um, we did the uh, we did the right triangles. I like to color them in. And now uh, we the next step is to convert using sines and cosines. Convert all of these to uh, to your components because we need components here. Blow that up a little bit. 
All right, so um, you can you have your calculator. I have my calculator. Four, hold on, so twenty-five. So uh, you can sit and do this with me, or do it on your own. Times four. So and check my work. I don't trust myself. So that's one point seven. We can only go to two siggies. We can only go to two siggies here because there's only two siggies in the problem. I mean, if you want to go to the third siggy, you can, but then your answer has to be cut at um, two siggies. You can't be more accurate than your problem. And we have, then we also have 25. Make sure, oh, so here's something else. Make sure you are in uh, degrees and not radians. So 25 cosine times four. So we're at 3.62. Okay, stop me if you see a mistake or, or you have a question. 15, 4.8. Uh, okay. 15, 1.6. Now, there's, if you calculate this up, there's about 50 ways to make a mistake on these problems, especially when you got three vectors. About 50 different places you can make a mistake. I just made one, by the way. Uh, anybody see my mistake? The negatives again. Thank you, the negatives again. Uh, and that is a very common mistake students make. It was a negative 4.8. It's the whole one of the whole points of making the sketch. Okay, and then we go 44. So, uh, six, negative 4.2. Oh, well, right. and then oh, okay, okay, let's do this one then. We got 4. 44. Uh, um, 4.3. Now, somebody pointed out in uh, third hour that the raise your hands, Mr. Askey, your drawing's wrong. Um, for one thing, it's a sketch. And so they said, you're showing that yellow triangle to be shorter than the blue. It's really longer. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It doesn't matter. It's a sketch, but, you know, we can, you can, you can fix it if you want, but it doesn't matter. I'm just trying, I was just trying to get the ballpark of where these things, what quadrant these things are in. Okay, now that's the end of that step. Now we have to stack and rack. Now on number three, on the one we're gonna do next, I wanted to do a harder one and then we'll do an easier one. Uh, and then number five is harder than what we just, what we're doing right now. So we're in the, we're in the, we're in the middle. One. But three, you're gonna, like on the test on Thursday, we look more like North three but you'll have a stack and rack area. So we don't really have one here, but we'll just go ahead and make one. Okay, so um, you put down, blow this up. You put down force of A, force of B, force of C, and then your I's and J's. So very carefully, one huge mistake is getting the signs wrong the other huge mistake is mixing up the I and J. That happens, that is probably the second most common mistake on this. And those are Newton's. And then B, we're st stacking them up now. Negative 4.3 I roof, minus 4.2 I roof, J roof, Newton's. And then negative 4.8 I roof, plus 1.3 J newtons. Okay, so there's the stack. Now the rack, we add them all up. So carefully, um, with Canvas, I remember back in August, I was lamenting that this, I can't really do physics with Canvas. So I'll ask you, just make all your tests multiple choice. Are you kidding me? You cannot make physics tests just multiple choice. 
I'd, I'd flunk most of you. I'll probably flunk myself. Because you make, there's too many ways to make a mistake. Okay, negative 5.5 is what I'm getting there. This is the summation of forces. Don't put resultant. Resultant is more of a mathematical term. We need to be, is it summation of forces? Is it summation of accelerations? Is it summation of velocities? We need to kind of keep it in a physics realm here. Okay, once again, tell me if I make a mistake. I've only worked this problem three times already today and I still make mistakes. A lot of it's just mental. How with it are you? Minus 1.2 J roof. Okay, there's my, now if I were to stop right here and this problem is worth 20 points, let's say on, say on Thursday or Friday for you guys, this problem is say is worth 20 points, I would get a 12 out of 20, maybe a 13 out of 20 right now. I'm not done yet because that's not the way people talk. We don't sit around and talk to each other in I's and J's. So we have, to, we have to put it back into people speak. See, it started off in people speak where, the, where I gave you the, uh, where I showed you what each one was here, not oh, sorry, here, here, here. And that's how we talk, length and angle. But then we put it into computer talk, which is the I roof and J roof. And now we got to get it back into people talk. Okay. So step seven is to draw your uh, resultant vector. Just sketch it. Sorry, ruler here. Just carefully sketch it. It goes to the left and down. I make red my resultant to the left and down. So now if this were a mule, say this were a mule being pulled, say three farmers are trying to get that mule into their, onto their land. And so one farmer, uh, Farmer Joe here, uh, throws a rope around the mule and pulls with uh, four newtons, pretty weak farmer, but four newtons of force into his field. But then farmer Emma grabs the grabs and put five newtons this way, and then farmer Charlie pulls it this way with six newtons. And so if that's the case, if you're pulling on that mule with three ropes, uh, which way is the mule going to go? And so the answer we got was kind of goes towards uh, Charlie's field a little bit because Charlie and Emma are pulling more to the left or more, what would that be, westward than Farmer Joe is pulling eastward. So that helps, it's A, it's a quality control. B, we're gonna use this to now help answer our question because we have the components, we have the components of R, but now we need the hypotenuse and we need the angle. So I know that's negative 5.5 Newtons and that's negative 1.2 Newtons, but I got to find the length. So I got to use Pythagorean theorem, right? So then the, this is called the, I'm moving down the other, this is called the norm of the summation of forces, an old math term, just means the magnitude. So then you see double slashes, double lines. I don't know if you still use that in math. Uh, and then we have the Pythagorean theorem. So that's negative uh, 5.5 squared uh, plus negative 1.2 squared, okay, Newtons. And when you do that, I forget what you get, one point, well, I'm gonna cheat. You get 5.7, okay, that sounds right. So when you do the math there, you get 5.7 Newtons. So down here in the description, I say it's 5.7 Newtons. And by the way, there are, I have about three or four solid help videos on this and I'll add those into the comments probably below, uh, below the sheet, below today. And if I have time, I'll put them below the sheet. 5.7 Newtons at, uh, oh, now we gotta find theta. We gotta find this angle right here, theta. So this is where, remember that tangent, Sokotoa, tangent, uh, tangent equals opposite. 
So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So in other words, the y over the x. So I want to know theta. So in our case, theta then will be equal to the inverse tangent of absolute value because I want the reference angle. Okay, we'll we'll tell in the description, we'll show what the um, quadrant is, but I want the reference angle. So it's the opposite side. And so we have 1.2 negative absolute value, but negative 1.2 over negative 5.5. So for inverse tangent, remember you hit the, depends on your calculator, but in my calculator, I got to hit the, what did I do? I hit the number, then I hit tangent. TIs, you hit tangent, inverse tangent, then the number. What the, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so 1.2 divided by 5.5 that and then inverse tangent. Okay, I get 12.3, 12, but I can only get two siggies, so 12 degrees. So down here in the answer, I say at 12 degrees, and now I gotta give the quadrant and make sure this is a, this is a map view, so that third quadrant map view is south of west. S of W. Okay, ta-da, there it all is in all its glory. So that's what I mean. Here's a typical problem, but you can probably make 50 mistakes. So on a test, a lot of times I'll see an answer and it's just gobbledygook, right? Well, the first thing I do, well, if I check the sketch, then the first thing I do really is this is the engine. The stack and rack is the engine that runs. And so I'll come along and let's say that you here, you uh, forgot to make that, that 4.2, you forgot to make it negative. So I'll circle this and I'll get, you'll get like a minus two. Say it's worth 20 points. Everything else was perfectly correct, but you made one damn math, sorry, one darn math error, minus two right there, okay? That's what you'd get. That is, it. that is not incorrect, but I'm just showing you. So partial credit, students live and die by partial credit. <sighs> yeah. Uh, questions on number four. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna turn the camera off, I'm gonna turn the, uh, the recording off, and I want you all, we go into those little groups, but I don't know if it does any good. I want you all on your own now to work on number three, okay? So I'm gonna turn off the camera, then for those watching the video, you should pause it and then work on it. And now, so not wasting your time, I'm gonna turn the camera off. Okay, stop, pause recording. Okay, so we're back on the air here. And um, here's what the result should be on number three. Let's see. A little blurry, but oh. Well, I don't know if I gave enough time, but if you're still working, just ignore me. But that's what I got uh, last year. And now I see that I'm, I kind of. <laughs> Uh, I was being a little sloppy on my sig figs. I ended up with three, it's really just two. I don't know why I went three. The default on sigs on digits is three. And so I think it's a default. But if we're gonna be a little more picky about that, 5.9 meters per second at 60 degrees, ALH. Above, remember, ALH is above left horizontal, ARH above right, or this is if it's a profile view. I'm looking at it from the, from the, from the side. Um, ARH is above right, BLH below left, BRH below right, as opposed to the other map view. 
So there's a little bit blurry, but there's the key. Now look at that key and check your where you've gotten so far. Maybe all you got was the stack and rack part, uh, but look at it and I'll post this key. Uh, if you don't want to look, you know, hide your eyes, but I'll post this key on the, uh, it'll be on Facebook tonight. Those are the three, yeah, okay. All right. So, oh, and it says, this is a, from, from the Facebook post last year, and it says here there's an S, there's a Silent Help video link. So I guess I did that one. So you can watch me work it slowly, you know, as steps go by. I will try and put, I'll find that and put that on in the comments uh, on the Facebook. Well, folks, that is as far as we got today. Uh, because, you know, the meet table four and then I was going kind of slow because all my sophomores were gone. So I didn't want to do too much. Uh, I guess they'll be watching this. So hello, sophomores. I guess you're watching this right now. Hopefully. So uh, uh, keep, keep studying. Um, we've now covered everything that would be on the test on Thursday in class, but you need to work on those practice problems. I haven't written the daggone thing. I'm gonna write it, start writing it tonight or continue. I've dragged and dropped some stuff. I need to tweak it. And so I'll continue writing it tonight, get it done. Remember, you're gonna you're gonna have access to all eight equation sheets. And so for you virtual students, that means that you can either print off the PDFs, they're all on PDF now, or on module, I think it is it's the PDF module on the on the canvas. Um, yeah, so um, you, you can open up all those PDFs uh, or print them off and use them while you're taking the test. That's legal. Not your notes, though. Okay. Can't open up Facebook. All right. So stop sharing. Are we good? Anything going on? Anything? What's the homework again? Homework again, thank you. Uh, the homework again is, there it is. One dog for three, well, you've already done it. And two dogs for five. Five is, five is, um, yeah. Five is same thing, it's just four. Now there's four vectors you gotta deal with. We go up to seven, um, not very often, not very often, maybe, two or three times we go to seven. Uh, so it can get, you know, tedious. We won't do just to, I won't do it just to torture you, but sometimes in free body diagrams, you'll have it to seven. All right, so tomorrow, same time. Tomorrow's advisors get, shouldn't matter to us. Doesn't matter to us. We're still doing the usual. Okay, see you guys tomorrow then. Have a good one. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. Have a good day.